Welcome Pisces. This is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration. I'm here for your July 2019 reading. This is a general reading for Sun, Moon, and the Rising. So if this does not resonate with your sun sign, please do check out either the moon or the rising sign as well. You might want to check them out anyway. Um, if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for checking this video out. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Hopefully everyone will want to like, subscribe, and share this video by the time we're done. Pisces, let's get into it. So we're going to be doing a little astro tarot here. I'm maybe talking a little bit about the astrology and the planetary mo movements and things because it is very important for all of us to understand how that interacts with us during the month. So we are in a Cancer North Node, Capricorn South Node, right? This is what we are in. So, and in the, along that axis, which will be in that axis for a little while, that axis has had one, and now we're about to have a second eclipse, and we're going to have a third one all the way in December to round out this six-month time period. How this is affecting you specifically, Pisces, um, being a water sign, being a trine, your planet of Neptune is also in retrograde. Um, it is sextiling Saturn all at the same time. So it's like you are, you're, sat, you're sextiling Saturn, which means you're in kind of agreement. You guys are moving retrograde at the same time. So your dreaminess and some of your dreams and some of your aspirations may seem like foundationally, all of a sudden they're just going, Wah! you know, also, though, it's forcing you to get a little bit of structure where internally structure and some of your internal structures may be going, I really didn't ask for all this. I really didn't want this. Could we please just take this back? Okay. However, you are in the beloved Cancerian moon energy as well in the sun, in the sun energy. So that's being, that's helping you through it a little bit, but it's also uh, kind of uh, it's bringing to the forefront more of your psychic abilities and accentuating that and not letting you really hide from it, but bring it on up. Okay, bring it on up. So this can be a very trying time for you. And I completely understand that. Overall energy I have for you though, while it's trying, it's also uh, good for your money. Believe it or not, Venus is moving into a trine with Neptune. So it's good for love and it's good for money. It can be if you uh, appropriately um, apply and move with these energies, okay? Um, this is a great time, uh, especially as we're coming into this lunar eclipse, to make um, material gain from spiritual um, endeavors, which is why I have the King of Crystals as your overall energy. This is actually, you have, oh my gosh, and here's another king. The King of Crystals, the King of Wands, and we're using the Star Child tarot for the main tarot for the main deck, and then we'll use the Mythic tarot for the Clarifies, and then the Magician. Okay, seriously, Pisceans, July really should be your month. I see money, you know, some stability. I see fire and desire, and then I see manifestation. All things you are wonderful at, and if you didn't think that you were about to get a brand new business going. Here is the Page of Crystals, which is the Page of Pentacles. Go for it, okay? Now, that's what that's the overall energy. Money, money, money. And a lot of people, I'm gonna tell you something, the collective's money is not, is pretty good for those of us that are a little bit awakened or those of us that are a lot of it, that, that we are in tune spiritually. And being in tune spiritually um, and profiting from it is not just like doing what I'm doing. Uh, and by profiting, it's not a bad thing to earn a living doing this, but being spirit led and being led, being doing your, your, your actual life purpose is also a spiritual endeavor. Okay. So here we go. We have the two of cups coming towards you. Love is in the air. All right. So um, you could have a current love interest that really um, it's turning up. And you're really feeling um, rather affectionate, rather just like, oh my gosh, you know, like they're really in your heart. Yeah. However, here we go with the hanged man. 
Um, there's been some delay with it up until now, and you you you're the one that's delayed it. And there's still a little bit of delay. Um, you're feeling like you have to make a lot of sacrifices in order for this to work, or you're feeling the other party is going to have to make sacrifices. So while love is coming towards you, eh, it's this little because I feel like you might be a little scared. Let's see if we can get another clarifier on that. Yeah, I think that the communication between the two of you with the Five of Swords, one's not really understanding what the other is saying sometimes. And with Mercury being in retrograde as well right now, I can understand why. So just be really uh, cognizant of sometimes, you know, sometimes Pisces, you know, with your dreaminess, um, you may be dreaming something and you, and you kind of see the other person in it, but you don't, you're just dreaming because you want to. You're just daydreaming because you want to. Um, so just kind of be careful of that, okay? Um, and understand that the other person may also be like, really? You know? Um, you're, and, 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 and when you say that your this dream doesn't necessarily include the other person, you were just sharing it, that can cut. So, uh, as you're, you're talking about these, these innermost feelings, which you don't necessarily like to do, um, just be aware of how, what you're saying can make the other person feel. And then their response, try not to get too... Don't get offended. Ask, right? I don't, I don't see this being like major bickering where the two of you aren't going to be together, but it's just some miscommunication. Uh, energy you're bringing is the Ten of Wands. Burden, you are carrying a lot. And I think you're trying to figure out, oh boy, and here's the Nine of Wands. You're carrying a lot. Um, you're trying to defend your position. You're trying to get across this crazy sea. You don't really know how to do it. And it's rough right now for you. But you want to do it new. And I feel like with the Fool card that's saying, you, you have a desire to do it new. You really do. And that's actually shown by the Oppression card here, which is the Devil card in this, in this tarot deck. The card of transformation. Uh, the card of... Um, The Capricornian energy. So it's like you're in there. You're almost addicted to the darkness. You're addicted to this feeling of down. You're addicted to like not really ever being completely happy. You're all of these things. This is what you're used to being, but you want to do it differently. You're addicted to, or you're very used to being burdened. And you've put these walls up, right? You've defended your position. You're like, don't come in. But deep down inside, you really want to do it differently. Let's see what else is here. Ooh, with the emperor and you are stuck in it. You being stubborn with it. You're like, well, right? Mm. And the more you stay stuck in it with the magician, the more you manifest it. And as badly as you want to get out of it, you want something new, you keep manifesting it because you're being stubborn about it. What's going to help you, Pisces? Inner strength. You can get out of it. You can come out. Ooh, this is you. The high priestess. Listen, understands deep and dark secrets she gets that deep wisdom sometimes this is your card as well as the moon so i'm not going to say get out of it because it's you as a basic you know your personality but what i am going to say is embrace it learn from it and begin to use your depth of spiritual wisdom and your ability to manifest anything you set. I, you know, Pisceans, you guys are the best manifestors ever. You really are. You don't even have to work for it because you live in dreamland. You live in vision land. That's where you live. The visions come to you like water. 
They come easily. So that's what makes you wonderful manifestors. You can see that dream and believe in that dream and make that dream come true. You have everything within you to get out of this little spot you're in right now and manifest something magnificent. Manifest truth. Learn a different truth with the Queen of Swords. Speak the truth over yourself. Really dig deep. Begin to cut out those emotions or those memories or those doubts, those fears that are not serving you. They were there as a protective device. They were there to protect you from being harmed or injured or disappointed or hurt. But it's time to let the walls down and come out with the shield and come out with that sword swinging. Dig down deep. You you have such a depth of um, Akashic, timeless wisdom. It resides in you. And it flows out of you just like words, like air. It's just easy. Your intuition is deep. And your ability to recreate your entire world is tremendous. You can do it. Go on and do it. Outcome or advice, eight of crystals. It's going to, this is the eight of pentacles. Oh yeah, it's going to take work. But look at what she's doing. She's like standing in the grove. And she is working it, right? She's working her spiritual gifts and she is manifesting manifesting that's what we want i know it feels lonely and i think that you've kind of put yourself in solitude right you put yourself in a bit of purgatory with that five of pentacles and you've told yourself a lot of stories with the seven of swords but with the ten of swords it's time for that to be over it's time for you to stand up and defend yourself Time for you to pick up your burdens. Keep it moving. It's time for you to allow others to come to your aid and to your guard. It's time for you to let others in and work with them. You don't have to do it alone. But put in the work. Because if you put in the work, and the work really to me is just having the faith in yourself. These are some things you have to work on. Trying not to be in solitude, do the deep dives so we have to play Finding Nemo. Try not to tell your, repeat the lies of what other people have said over you. Repeat the bad things that other people have spoken over you. Try not to do that, right? Work on not doing that. Work on speaking only truth over yourself and goodness, yeah? Work on that. But also, it's okay to stay there and look around and be like, I didn't want to see that, but I need to see that. Yes, surgery can be painful, but during Cancerian season, at least you get a little anesthetic. All right, Pisces, that's what I have for you. You guys can do it. You guys can do it, okay? You guys can manifest your way out of this situation. Hey, guys, if you stick around for just another second, I've got a quick little video here that I want you to watch. We're going to be starting tarot classes on July the 20th. Now, it's five weeks, interactive, 297. By the time we're done, we've gone through the major and minor arcana. You'll learn some spreads, all that great stuff. And you'll really build your intuition, which is what's most important. So check that video out at the end. Again, please consider subscribing. I would love it. Hit that bell button so you know when I put out new content or I go live. I love you guys so much. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. Namaste. Tarot classes start July the 20th. Learn to read tarot for only $297. Register at www.heartofinspiration.net now.